I've been involved in politics for 40 years, but I have never seen anything like what is being unleashed in Gaza. In full public view, while the world watches it unfold. Ten days of relentless airstrikes, one in a thousand people murdered by the Israeli government in a week, open declarations of siege, 24 hours of fuel, electricity and water left, collective punishment on innocent people, all illegal, all war crimes. And when the EU should have been arguing for a ceasefire, for the upholding of international law, for the protection of civilians, Ursula von der Leyen touches down in Tel Aviv to photo op the preparation of a genocide and says Europe stands with Israel now and in the days to come. How dare she? She has no authority in foreign affairs matter. She does not speak for me. She does not speak for Ireland. And she does not speak for the citizens of Europe. We stand for peace. We stand for justice for the people of Palestine and for the upholding of international law. It's long past the time that this woman exited the stage. It's time for her to go and for the International Criminal Court so to the debate. Is I voted against this motion after a week of horror in Gaza and the EU diving in head first, draping our parliament in the Israeli flag, aiding and betting in war crimes, including the bombing of a hospital, and still we find it impossible to say that Palestinian lives matter. We're still privileging one category of victims over another. We talk about the humanitarian situation in Gaza, but why is there a humanitarian crisis? Is it a national disaster? Who cut off the water, fuel and electricity? Are we not sure? Who is bombing Palestinian civilians? Do we not know? Do you think we could mention it? There is a crime unfolding in Gaza now, such as we have not seen since the 1940s, and we are in it up to our necks. We're watching Israel murder Palestinian civilians and preparing to drive millions of them into the Sinai Desert to annex and colonize their land. It's another Nakba, it's a crime against humanity, not a humanitarian crisis. The EU will never live down this shame. Long live Palestine, long live Gaza. Thanks, President. A month has elapsed since the commencement of the unrelenting mass murder of Palestinians in Gaza. It's not a spiral of violence, Frau von der Leyen. It's genocide, openly declared and carried out by the apartheid state of Israel. Starvation, bombing, hospitals, ambulances, journalists, humanitarian routes, 10,000 dead, one in 200 Gazans killed, a Palestinian child slaughtered every 10 minutes for a month and Frau von der Leyen's answer to this graveyard for children is to tell Israel to avoid civilians. Be as targeted as you can. Well, that displays some neck. You can't even call for it to stop. You can't even call for a ceasefire. Well, of course you can't, because these crimes against humanity are being carried out with your weapons, in your name, when you stood with Israel a month ago and you said you'd stand with them now and in the days to come. So don't come in here trying to wipe the blood off with belated concern. It's not not just Israel's genocide, it's yours and The Hague isn't good enough for you. To be honest with you, after the last month, I'm finding it difficult to understand why anybody would think that the rest of the world would give a what we think. For weeks, billions have watched as Europe has stood lock, stock and barrel behind our friend apartheid Israel. We call Israel a democracy. In this democracy, 4.5 million Palestinians live under occupation with no rights at all, victims of dehumanisation, arbitrary checkpoints, settler violence, brutalisation by security forces, a military court system and no vote. This is what we call, with a straight face, at the only democracy in the Middle East. Well, it's over. After the show Europe's made of itself recently, don't expect the rest of the world to be um, taking you seriously any time soon. Israel expects us to believe that there's no genocide in Gaza. They're only protecting themselves from terrorists. They're trying to limit casualties. And even that the Palestinians are responsible for killing themselves. When Israel controls every entry and exit point in that tiny occupied territory, 
where half of the population are children. Absolute lies, of course, and not for the first time. Cynical distortion, wild accusations, farcical claims, these are the modus operandi of Israeli propaganda. Before the current military conflict, there were six others in Gaza since 2006. And after they're done, the lies are exposed, but there's never any reckoning. There's never any outrage from the media. It's just buried and forgotten until the next time the lies are platformed again. Well, this is unacceptable. The media is failing the citizens of Europe and the people of Gaza because propaganda in the service of genocide should be treated with the contempt that it deserves. Instead, the media defers to it. Well, we have a message for you. It's not working. Our consent for Israel's atrocities cannot be manufactured. The truth about Israeli lies is emerging. The ugly truth about Zionism has revealed itself for all to see, and a new world order will be built. Shocked, shocked in the hubbish, the dulling winter Gaza. Er fa shocked, shocked in a day of con down, mar a screes Israel, kahar lawn na bashti. Agus ni ora wan few a lui gan taintus orpok on fuckle ceasefire. Shocked, shocked in a agus on shin sustainul shafoyduk. Shocked in doiv shud the tough yos bio elu on smonger. Len a bashti a kore dalo. August a raigle Israel lesh on morrow a reish. Oct mila deg morrow a rely. August gok law jer canary na horpa go shasen sheed le Israel. Shasen on taintus orpok le kina hihu. Ni yasen muinter na heren le Israel. Near Hridamir er son na serha le raig muinter ella er kord fui smocked. Shasemid lash on Palestine good yo. By on Palestine Sarah on a Hanukkah go di on Fariga, Chucky for law, Chucky law na Palestina. Despite the catastrophic death toll it has inflicted, Israel is losing on the ground and in the court of public opinion. There is no way that this ends that doesn't leave Israel a pariah state with occupation and apartheid on borrowed time, and they know it. So they're doing everything they can. Desperate acts of aggression to provoke a wider conflict with Lebanon, with Iran, with anybody to draw in the US, to save them from the consequences of their own actions. And as Yemen shows, Butcher Biden is reporting for duty. With Europe's frau genocide by his side, they are the ones who have enabled the continuation of Israeli terror. Without them, it would already be over. So take note, Butcher Biden. The ancestors of the Ireland that you claim to be from disown you. Keep our country out of your mouth. And as for von der Leyen and genocidal Germany with your words and deeds supporting Israel in the ICJ, not in our name. The people of Europe stand with Palestine and with South Africa. Every day now the mask falls further. On the very same day that the West pet bulldog Israel was hauled into The Hague to face the charge of genocide in which EU countries are complicit. Our so-called like-minded partners, the US and Britain, flout the UN Charter to commit their latest crime of aggression. Illegal, unprovoked, unjustified airstrikes on Yemen. Lawless, barbarous acts to inflame the region and to make worse the catastrophic cost of living crisis being experienced by millions of Europeans. And now some of you actually want to join them. Seriously, with a straight face, people have come in here and said they want to do that in order to uphold international law. The very same international law that a horrified world has watched being trampled into the ruins of Gaza while the EU hands Israel more weapons and cheers on the genocide. The Yemenis have killed no one. 25,000 Palestinians are dead and all you're enraged about is international shipping. It's over. The EU has no moral authority. If you want to sort the situation out, end the genocide. On the 26th of January, the International Court of Justice ruled that there's a plausible risk of genocide in Gaza. It ordered Israel to stop killing civilians. 
Israel continued. So the legal obligations on EU member states are very clear. The Genocide Conventions require states to avoid complicity. The EU common position on arms exports bans exporting arms where there's a clear risk they'll be used to violate international law. And the UN has warned that such transfers must cease. Yet, France dissembles, hiding behind secrecy and Israeli assurances, while Germany has increased its exports tenfold last year, 90% since October 7th. Ireland doesn't even ask Butcher Biden what's coming through Shannon Airport from the US on the way to the Middle East. What sort of people are ye? In 1982, arch-conservative pro-Israelis Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan stopped arms to Israel during a war. But in 2024, European Greens, Social Democrats and Liberals are arming a genocide. Shame on ye. International law and humanity requires lethal arms to Israel. Must stop now. As the people of Gaza face agonising death, from orchestrated starvation. The EU is so concerned about the humanitarian situation that some of its member states cut the UNRWA funding and increase arms to Israel. The US is so troubled it's building a pier and airdropping food, but there's hundreds of trucks already at the border crossing full of supplies. It's just they're being prevented from crossing by the same Israel that the US is sending another 17.6 billion in military assistance to. What sort of sick monsters are these? There would be no famine or genocide in Gaza if Biden restrained Israel. His support has been conscious and unconditional. So as the Irish politicians shamefully cross the Atlantic to doff the cap for Patrick's Day and pay homage to this butcher, they should remember that our history and relationship with the US comes from our famine. Irish Americans should know the people of Ireland stand against genocide, Joe. Shasamid Lesh on Palestine, Chucky for law. Thanks. Of course, the US has never respected international law. It was always one law for their friends and another for everybody else. But after six months of throwing international law on the bonfire in Gaza, something is broken. We are in free fall. Strikes on hospitals, normalised. On aid convoys, refugees, Civilians normalised. Famine as a weapon of war normalised. All with impunity. We are witnessing the collapse of the post-war system instigated by the US and Europe, all to shield Israel, our outpost from con consequences. What has been seen cannot be unseen. And the world can now see exactly what European values really are. 200 days of Israel systematically wiping Gaza from the earth, 505 bombs a day, 21 an hour, doctors executed, mass graves in hospitals, journalists murdered. And all the while with not just the silence, but the active complicity of the European Union. The European Union who flew the flag of the oppressor from day one whose countries axed the funding to a starving Palestinian population despite any evidence of any wrongdoing from anyone against UNRWA, who increased the flow of weapons to Israel tenfold since they started a genocide, weapons to slaughter Palestinians. So keep your hand wringing and your crocodile tears. It couldn't have happened without your complicity. It's continuing now because of it. European values, same as it always was. Murder and colonials, you'll never be forgotten. Accordia, on shock and shock, Corpolini na Garmana, Stopla imok de Lufarlok Tiakta, on Palestine, Egon Reichstag in Merlin. Dora Leshna Geneva ha Gawilshe Milahok Changaha Shokas Garmani Shokas Berla Alaur to Egar Godi. Dorigna Polini Brataka Nahir and August Poster Gilga Avant. Is Bagard Norok Shah Don Kyar Chinol Sagar Moina. Neil She Shok Kart Er Kurarbe. All EU languages are supposed to be equal, as are all minority languages. This institution should stand for linguistic equality and defend our fundamental rights. It is shameful that Germany, after outlawing pro-Palestinian gatherings, is censoring people from speaking their own language, whether it is Irish or Arabic. Shasan era lesh on Palestine, Chucky Lana Palestina.
I have to say, of all of the insane discussions that we've had in here, this one absolutely has to take the biscuit. Iran's unprecedented attack on Israel. As if Iran woke up one day and decided to strike Israel out of the blue. As if Israel's targeted attack on the Iranian embassy in Syria, which killed 16 people, a flagrant violation of the Vienna Convention, had never happened. Everybody outside this room knows the cause of the escalation is Israel. Everybody knows that Israel has been trying to broaden the conflict in the region to detract from their genocidal war on Gaza. And everybody knows that the EU, who for seven months of the most proportionally destructive war in history, have failed to condemn and sanction Israel, have immediately and unanimously condemned and sanctioned Iran. The world is changing. Your settler colonial project has been exposed like never before. And the world can see that the EU emperor has no clothes. I say, so this is what humanity looks like.
And we are only starting. So the great, the great who appeared great because we are on our knees when we are off our knees now and they don't look so great. And we will continue now and forever until Palestine is free. At the time of the making of this video, according to Al Jazeera English, so far, more than 36,000 Palestinians, including more than 15,000 children, have been killed in this war. This has got to stop. It's time for a ceasefire, and it's time for a ceasefire now.